Good morning, friends on the internet. We're going to do a little highway riding right now. So all of you who uh, are unsure if the T7 can do it, let me tell you that it can. Let's roll. Oh, look at all those classic cars. So sick. I don't know if you call those classics because they were kind of souped up a little bit. Not exactly sure what to call those. All right, onto the highway at highway speeds. Hopefully the wind noise isn't too loud. As you guys can see, I took it off my little side deflectors. I thought they weren't doing that much, but now I think I might be changing my mind. I'm getting a whole lot of wind right on my shoulders here. That's why I'm a little worried that the mic is uh, not sounding the best. But those winglets, I did give them away uh, to a subscriber, actually. Luigi, if you're watching this, you are awesome, dude. It was great meeting you. Awesome T7 that you got there. And uh, yeah, man, let's go for a ride soon. Today, we're on our way to this thing called Rodeo Overland? Rodeo Off-Road. Something like that. I'm not quite sure, but it's basically a display of vehicles that can overland. So I'm expecting a lot of like Forerunners and Tacomas and uh, Jeeps, probably things like that. But as we're cruising on the highway here on this uh, kind of cloudy Saturday morning, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of update on what's going on with the channel, what's going on with my life. Uh, yeah, it's been crazy. There have been a lot. So, long story short, I live in a two-story townhouse. My shower, the pipe behind my shower has burst. And there is water filled up in between the walls. And it is leaking into my downstairs kitchen. And it is a major headache. So we called the guy. He said he had to break down the wall, let it dry. It was going to take up to a month. Now... The house I live in was built in 1940, and it really hasn't been updated much at all. So we thought this would be a good opportunity. My wife and I, this is probably gonna be our house for the foreseeable future where we live. We are thinking about just doing a full remodel while we're at it. And so life has been filled with a lot of stress, a lot of research. I've never done anything like this before. I struggled putting in a new faucet a couple months ago. <laughs> so, yeah, on top of that, stressful times, I know. On top of that, I applied for a grant from the county that I live in, Alameda County. They were given up, up to $10,000, depending on what you get if you trade in a, a car 2007 or older. I had a car, 02 Camry, 220,000 miles on it, runs perfect, uh, but they said they'd give me seven grand for it. So I took it, and now I have four months to buy a hybrid, specifically a hybrid. It is, uh, just thinking about the numbers and the money, it is stressing my wife and me out. Here it is, my Camry looks exactly like this, but in black. great car and this brings me to my next point I feel a little bit guilty a little bit uh, ashamed because I have not been putting out quality content and I think when I started this whole journey I one of my goals was to try and make my videos better all the time because I do enjoy filming them but I'd say over the last month or so other than the camping video I posted last week I've kind of just been cranking these videos out and they haven't really been quality at all and I don't like that so I was trying to fulfill my personal goal of one video a week and keeping consistent I think that kind of outweighed hold on let me uh, get in a safe spot here I hate sitting next to cars I like to find a little gap on the highway kind of like what I'm in right now and just kind of sit there just makes me feel a whole lot better so I believe that I need to refocus on making quality videos and not worry so much about keeping a schedule 
because I'm not that proud of the last few videos I've done and I don't I don't like that feeling so long story short I'm gonna be posting a little bit less but I hope to make my videos much much better deal all right now as you can see the t7 close to 75 miles an hour totally stable now I, I definitely feel the wind it's fairly windy today I think these high, higher walls on the freeway are protecting me a bit oh my god it's so windy oh it's blowing me left and right sometimes it's chill and then I just get a hit of this big gust now I'm just trying to keep it in the lane <laughs> Some of these cars are crazy. Crazy, dude. I hate cruising on the freeway. This is one of like the things I hate the most. I wish I could just teleport to the twisties right away. The amount of fun riding on the highway is low, at least for me, and the risk is still very high. And that ratio is not something that I really want. You gotta do it sometimes. Dude, it's crazy. Look at this. I'm going 80 miles an hour. I'm getting passed up by everybody. Everybody's going faster than me. That's crazy. Speed limit here is 65, by the way. I do feel the T7 likes to cruise at about 70, 75. I've cruised at 80, 85 before. But I mean, it's it's revving, you know, when my slip-on exhaust is kind of loud. It's not bad. But this is kind of the sweet spot. I can tell the bike likes to sit here. If it looks kind of hazy to you today, it's because we had a fire nearby. I believe it's put out now, out in the city of Brentwood. There's a lot of farms and stuff out there. Okay, friends, we're pretty much here. I'll talk to you guys when I get inside. Check out this RAV4. Souped up. Got needy tires. Rooftop tent. Not as into the rooftop tent, but looks awesome. Oh, it's the hybrid. Check out this front. That looks so sick. Oh, it's all good. What are these called? Oh, like tracks. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. That looks crazy. That looks awesome. And here is another RAV4. I keep looking at the RAV4s because I'm thinking about buying one. <laughs> yeah. Check out all these rigs. Got some free stuff too. I don't know where they went. That's what I need for mine. Yeah. Ariel, this is for you. He's got a shower set up. Kick ass. <laughs> I love this OG Land Cruiser. It looks so good. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys this. This setup over here. What is going on over here? This is sick. That's how you park. <laughs> All right, I know I've been showing a lot of RAV4s. This is Jay's friend's RAV4. And look, look. Carbon fiber rooftop tent. Yeah, I have to pay five bucks. I'm just hoping the car and take it for if you want. <laughs> $5 for a sticker. <laughs> Dang, this is nice though. What trim is this? Oh, it's the TRD off-road. Oh, that's nice. So I think these are real cool. They have an air compressor in there. And they're just running lines to each each wheel, each tire, so they can inflate them all at the same time. That's kind of nice. Oh, check out this skyline right here. Not really, uh, not really an overlander, I'm going to go on a limb and say. 
this G-Wagon with some awesome That front end looks so nice. What is this? Range Rover? Land Rover. Those wheels. Those wheels look nice. These are nice wheels, dude. Yeah. Alright, I got you guys. A non-Toyota here. Ford Bronco. It looks really good as well. I love how boxy it is. I think that's why I love the, the new Land Rover. I love this paint as well. I would, I would love a rig. I'm trying to convince her, man. <laughs> you, you, you ever want to get some time to yourself? You got yeah. Oh, no worries. You got kids? Yeah. You leave your wife and kids up here and you can sleep soundly down below. Yeah. Oh, dude, this is sick. Okay, friends, that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. I know that's not exactly a moto vlog, but um, I hope you guys found it cool. I love overlanding stuff, overlanding vehicles and accessories. I wish I had a rig, hopefully sometime in the future, because uh, it'd just be awesome to get off the grid, get away from the city for a little while, and be comfortable, bring my wife, my dogs, things like that. So, all right, have a good week. Peace out.